Does it look good, everybody? Hey, what's going on, Brian and Ugly Homestead? Uh, can you hear me pretty well? Let me know. I'm just trying to test to see how far the camera needs to be away. Sweet, so what do you want, Riley? I was butchering. Yeah, I'm doing a YouTube live stream and butchering. <laughs> kind of quiet. Hmm. Here, I'm gonna try to scoot it forward just a little bit. I found an Easter egg. It is. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's my boy. Woo! Real shaky. All right, how's that? Is that a lot better? Okay, okay. Awesome, Carter. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm just gonna butcher some rabbits. I've got, I've got six of them, and the reason why I'm butchering them is because they are actually my grow outs. But this morning they got out, they dug out, and I was chasing them, and I was getting pretty upset because I was late to work. But so I just like, I just need to get this over with and butcher them. And so since I've not really done live. I decided that, you know, let's go ahead and just do this live because for me, I like to butcher animals when I'm with somebody and I currently at the moment don't have anybody so I thought this would be a little bit more of an easy way to get to know you guys, let you guys get to know me and at the same time, I'm going to get these rabbits out of my yard, fill up my refrigerator and if you have any questions about me, my homestead, my animals, my family, anything, you can go, and go ahead and ask those. Um, and, and we'll just go with the flow and have some fun. Um, so for the part where I have to dispatch the rabbit, I'm going to do it down here on the ground where you unfortunately can't see if you are interested in me kind of giving you a explanation or a idea of what it is without the actual dispatch I can do that if you don't know how um, so I'm gonna start with this first rabbit Got me a little bit of California here. And so I do I do want to warn you if you are um, sensitive to this kind of stuff, bone cracking, um, I'm gonna snap the neck. So I would say either mute it or or stop watching. What's going on? Um, hey uh Duncan, I don't remember your your first name, um, but I do have a question about harvesting animals because you've been around a while on the YouTube for homesteading. I know you're not allowed to dispatch on the video, but the cleaning process when the animal is dead and it's just the meat and bones, that's that's a good okay to go, right? Yes, this rabbit is alive. Brenda, Brenda. I remember seeing it on the Facebook group. Sweet. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. Um, and we'll go from there. I do plan on keeping the hides. Um, I got uh, some extra aluminum sulfate.
So what I did here is I used the broomstick broomstick method, um, which in this case I have a hoe, and put the neck the neck right here. So I got the broomstick right here. I step on one side of it and I grab the back legs. I pull. It's pretty quick. So while it's it's gonna be about 30 seconds before we get going. Um, so the, the setup, I'm gonna talk about the setup I have is I have a bucket here for the fur. I have a bucket here that's got about halfway full of water, um, cool water, and I put, I'm gonna put the carcasses in there, the meat, and then I've got a bucket here, or a bowl here, and I'm gonna put the livers and kidneys here for fish and bait. And then I got a bowl over here with a rag in it to clean my knife, clean my hands with some, um, to get the fur off. Um, and I do wanna talk about my knife. I will say that uh, one thing that I did do is I spent a lot of money on a knife. To me, it was a lot of money. It's a Victorinox, and I'm gonna put the numbers in the description, but it's 5.6603.15, real nice knife, real sharp. It's been about, I think it was like 35, 40 bucks. Sweet. So the animal is good. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait just a, another minute um, and explain. I just have another backup knife. Um, something is a little thicker, so if I have something that's tough, I can get through that. And then tin snips. Um, I learned this from a, a, a farmer that I actually learned how to do chickens and like where the the feet are. I have a rabbit I butchered this morning right here and I just snip it right there. And then sometimes with the neck, I'll uh, do it like this. See you later, Brian, have fun. Okay. So, uh, since this is one of my first times going live uh, and just chatting with you guys, who I forgot to do something, like a tube of toothpaste, I just give it a nice squeeze in the stomach. Nothing too tight or I'll explode something in there. Just get any pee out. Alrighty. So I got it at the ankles, so it ain't going nowhere. First thing I like to do is I check the, the spine, the neck area, see if I went all the way through when I snap this neck. Take my thicker knife and I'll just cut the head off. check the bars on my uh, connection real quick. Then what I like to do at the wrist the head off where the wrists are at and then now I'm gonna start skinning the rabbit if you have any questions go ahead and put them down it's kind of what we're, I'm wanting to do is get to know you guys I know some of you uh, from other chats but if you have any questions about me or my homestead go ahead and ask away
I'm sorry about the buffering. right here uh, for ugly homestead since you've never done this I'll flip it around I've got the two legs peeled and then what I like to do is it's real easy you don't it's it's not very hard it's easier than doing a chicken if you've skinned a chicken instead of plucking it um, then I meet my fingers in the middle right here My fingers connected, my finger all the way through. Slide my knife in there. Go up like that. What I like to do is grab the junk, as much as of it as I can. Pull it back real tight. So, Ugly Homestead, this meat here, um, use it just like you do chicken. That, that's however you cook chicken is, is the way to do it. Um, and for me, we like to crock pot a lot of stuff. And so, so I got this nice hide right here. My favorite, my favorite dish is um, a Mexican dish, uh, flautas. Uh, I like to make some enchiladas with it. It tastes just like rabbit or um, chicken, <laughs> obviously. Um, it tastes just like chicken. Uh, if you get a wild rabbit, it tastes gamey and it tastes a little different. But farm-raised rabbit tastes just like chicken. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. My wife, she does not eat anything that's not, I guess you can say, um, normal of what is in the grocery store. I guess you could say if it's not served at McDonald's, then she won't eat it. Kind of a meat. You know, no goat, no... None of that fancy stuff, I guess you could say. One second.
Sorry about that. My my son's TV wasn't working. <laughs> Hello, Denise. It's nice to meet you. Um, you know, actually, let me tell you the story about how I started with rabbits. So, I had some chickens, and I live in the city, and I'm only allowed to have this many. Um, I've got about 0.9 acres, and the, the, the city just allows me to have this many animals, and I guess you could say that many head of animals, and so that's how many I started out with. And the reason why I actually started is because I was, I'm 5'10", I weighed 110 pounds, I was an itty bitty skinny guy, and it, I was just, my whole life always scrawny, could not gain weight. Uh, could not gain any weight. And so I started like researching bodybuilding and at that moment I was gosh I was probably like 24 and I was um, let me grab a rabbit real quick this is a Rex mix anyway so I was researching bodybuilding and like how to do it properly and like the proteins and the nutrients that you need and so eggs was a big thing and so at that moment eggs for a dozen of the the cheapo the not health i wouldn't say not healthy but the the cheapest ones in dylan's or kroger's or walmart's whatever you have um they they um they were like 99 cents and they went up to like three dollars we had an egg shortage because of the i think it was a sal salmonella outbreak um so i was like i can go buy a chicken at atwoods for two dollars and fifty cents so i was like i'm gonna go ahead and do that and it's gonna have a lot more nutrients um so i did that my wife thought i was crazy i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and not let this thing scratch me While it's doing its thing, I'll finish talking. Um, so my wife thought I was crazy, and I would say the chickens didn't even get to start laying, and they were about, I'd say three months old, and they got attacked by a dog. Chicken netting. So I did that, bought four more, two of them died, so I was like, I'm gonna go get some more so I bought two more and then one died so I was like why are they keep dying and so I ended up getting like six of them because I was like if one's gonna die here and one die there I'm gonna get extra let it die and then I'll have four at the end is what I thought so I ended up with six at the end um, I'm so sorry about the, the buffering so I got the chickens and then I started getting eggs. I got so excited, like a little kid in like a trampoline park. That was me. Got my first egg. I ran in the house. I was like, ah, and ate it, and it was so good. It was my first farm fresh egg, and it kind of freaked me out at first with it being orange instead of like I wouldn't even call it yellow. It's like comparing whole milk to skim milk. There, I mean, there's no comparison other than it's white anyway so um, so I built a chicken run and I didn't have a top on it and raccoons got them every one of them and so my cousin she her dad it was well, so my uncle has chickens and he has a, a farm with bunches of free-range chickens and 
he's like, hey, you can come get some. And so I went and got some and pick them up. And at the same time, my daughter, uh, I think she was probably like three or four at the time. She was looking at the rabbits and we was looking at the pigs and the cows and um, he was like, do you want a rabbit? I was like, sure, I'll take a rabbit, you know, um, rabbits are pretty easy. Um, my plan was only a pet. Um, it's still twitching right here. The nerves are, the rabbit is gone. Uh, if you're, if you're new to this, uh, the rabbit is gone and the nerves are still going. Um, so we was over there. And my daughter, we ended up getting a rabbit. By the time we was getting ready to leave, he's like, hey, I'm gonna give you another rabbit. Um, just cause, just in case if they're like a herd animal and they do better and so they're not getting depressed. So I left with two rabbits for free and like eight chickens. And so I threw them in a, a box crate thing that was probably a four by four and it was just on the ground uh, for that moment before I could get it, a little ground tractor built for them. And so, that's how I started with a rabbit. And then one night, I was just bored on the internet, wasn't looking up anything rabbits or farm related. Uh, and I looked at my wife, and I was just joking. I was like, we should eat those rabbits. And she looked at me like, are you stupid? And I was like, no, we're going to eat these rabbits. I was just trying to play along with it. And, and she just kept like giving me this nasty look and so I, I dropped it and so then from that moment on I started researching it and to me at that moment it was very weird I guess you could say for normal people if you want to call them normal uh, it was weird for the for them to know that people ate pet rabbits So, uh, so I started researching, and I learned that it was a, a really common thing, actually. And so, I got the wild hair to go ahead and give it a shot. So I found a rabbit for ten dollars, bred her, and here I am. what I didn't do. I didn't squeeze it. Uh, Brenda, I used to have a Flemish. Uh, it was amazing. I loved him. He was, he was actually raised on a little petting zoo around here. And I used him to breed with my California. He was a buck. And he ended up dying about two years after I had him. And we have no idea how. He was about two years old when I got him. And so he was three or four years old when he passed. But I, uh, a week later after he died, the cage that he was in got attacked by some German shepherds killed every one of them so I'm thankful that he died of a natural cause versus a dog attack I wish I could get pigs so my neighbor lets me use her land uh, for my goats. She has about three and a half acres that I am using. It's really nice of her. Uh, she knows that I'm teaching my kids. And at the same time, she doesn't want to pay for it to get bush hog. 
a few times of the year, so she's letting me play on it. The triplets are doing good. Um, I need to show you this buck that I have. Like, he's very, very pretty. I'm actually thinking about keeping him, but at the same time, I really like the bucks that I have. So, because I've never seen a coloring like his on a Nigerian around here that I know of. At least it's not common on the ones that get sold. We've actually had, we have six goats, goat babies right now that are on the ground. And we've got two more, uh, two more goats that are getting ready to have babies. And I, uh, I think one of them is, it's gonna happen this week. It's that close. I, I am in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, southeastern Kansas. Um, Brenda, I have never made anything with these. <clears throat> the first time I ever, actually the only time that I have successfully tanned a hide I stretched it and I didn't know what I was doing and I ripped all of them I ripped them up and I had one that was really good had no holes on the middle part it was just the edges so I would have to cut it out and it was not stretching the way Sorry, my dog was chasing the cat. It wasn't like, I was having just issues getting it all nice and soft by breaking the hide. But I told everybody that the first time I started butchering rabbits, I told them they're all getting rabbit hats and rabbit underwear for Christmas, leaving the fur on it. So if I wasn't keeping the fur, I would just cut the tail, leave the tail there. But since I'm keeping it, I just go along the tail so there's no bones in there. And then I cut the tail off. So my first time fleshing, I was using my fingers and not a um, fleshing knife. So I think I'm going to buy a fleshing knife because it was a pain. Hello, overworked gardener. Um, we're just using this time for you guys to get to know me since I've, this is my, I guess you could say my first live where I'm interacting with you guys and I'm cleaning some rabbit. It's a very needed thing on my land. Save me a little money on rabbit feed. Save me a little bit more time on feeding time, watering time. <coughs> So I do have a, a, uh, a question. I have a really funny video that I'm gonna film tomorrow. And do you, are you guys familiar with Jason from the Crockers? And his um, video where he's trying to find a date.
anyway, so Jason is a really cool guy. Uh, I really, I really like watching his um, tiny house build in the Oklahoma, and and I'm always in his live streams. I'm always watching his videos and commenting, and. Um, the the guy just got divorced a few months ago and people are he's, he gets some a lot of trolls he's a goofy guy young young guy goofy guy uh, and so in his videos he like messes with the trolls on purpose and I thought about uh, just making one of those goofy videos that like play with the trolls um, it, it'd be a lot easier to understand because I try to explain with my wife and she um, just gives me that same look of I'm stupid anyway so, <laughs> so the he's looking for a date and I thought about making and he's asking for pictures uh, and he's gonna make a YouTube vlog where he chooses somebody to come out and he's gonna vlog a date and just kind of show him around the homestead and then that's pretty much it and so I wanted to do like a video response instead of pictures and get a funny little wig on maybe a oh what do they call the boas the little feathery things and I wanted to just just clown around and just make it kind of like I wouldn't say raunchy but cringy in a in a clean way but very uh, just goofy um, because you guys may not have uh, you may not have picked up on my on my videos because I've been trying to do a little bit more of a how-to style at the beginning um, oh, I think I threw a head it's good So I, I, I haven't really got to bring my goofiness out, and I'm just, you know, like guys, I'm just a little child. And so, I just wanted to troll around with him and make a really fun video, uh, hoping that it would just cause a little bit of a, a scene on his page, because it's, it's just what happens on his page. It's kind of what gets that page going. But I got some ideas. The ideas that I'm not going to explain them because I don't want to give them away. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to film it tomorrow. <laughs> my wife was actually so disgusted in my idea. She said, "I'm not filming you." So her sister's going to uh, come over and help me out with that. There's that rabbit. having so much fun uh taking a little longer than i usually do but i'm having fun talking to you guys so i'm gonna get the second rabbit this one yeah those are uh we call them tin snips, but sheet metal shears. I've used them on sheet metal, so, uh, so yeah, they're they're uh, they're something I learned on a a little farm that I learned and practiced my first butchering. He's okay. He's okay. <laughs> this is the, okay, so this is the one that got out this morning. And anytime I grab him, he freaks out. So he's... <laughs> he wouldn't even let me put the broom on him. Okay. One of the kids is good, barging out here. You hear the rabbit? No? Alright, see if he'll let me do it now. 
Um, for those that joined late, this is just a broomstick method. you're having fun I'm having fun too for this being my first time doing a real live stream to interact with you guys <clears throat> what's your guys's favorite animal that you like to raise um, and why because like for me rabbits the reason why I like them apart from their meat is I really like their poop for my garden really easy to put a I get these big old tree I don't have one behind my idea. Oh, I have one over there. Um, I'm not gonna touch it because it's got a lot of rabbit pee and fur on it from being under the cage. Um, anyway, so I put it on the cage and poop gets in there and then I just dump it out in the garden. I'm tired of shoveling from underneath of it, hurt my lower back. I wouldn't say I hurt my lower back, but it just, it just tightens it up. But my favorite animal is chickens. And I like chickens because they give you eggs and meat. Um, I don't like plucking them, especially the little down feathers. All right, so I'm gonna get this next one going. When I was down there trying to get the, the the stick on it, he started scratching on the ground. So he got a lot of dirt in his fur. I'm gonna try to shake it out. Cause where I'm from here in Kansas, uh, we're kind of by the Arkansas River. Uh, I'd say it's about two miles from here, not even that far away. And they say that it's really sandy because of that. I mean, our dirt is like. Our dirt is like, if you call it dirt, it's like those timers, where it, the timers where it trickles the sand. And then my boss at my job said that one of his relatives went down in the long, I think his great, great grandparents owned a bunch of this land back in the day. Hey Riley, don't touch that, you shook the okay. camera. Here. Go around over here, and you can watch it right here. Because you can read the comments, and you can... Here, go around that back. You can read the comments, and you can watch the video. Yes, I do use the, the goat poop as well. Here, come over here and say hi to everybody. Hi. Get closer. This is Riley. She's my nine-year-old. You cold? You going to get jacket? Yeah. Or are you staying inside? Or I'm getting a jacket. Okay. I just love how easy chickens are. Rabbits are really easy too. I would say rabbits are easier than chickens because they don't fly. You don't gotta clip any wings. Uh, raccoons, to me at least, have never been interested in my rabbits. Uh, Brenda uh, Duncan, she said hello to you. A single uh, uh, it is Denise. 
Her name is Denise. Denise said hello. Hello, Mindful Homestead. I was actually watching your video uh, this morning on my way to work, and I couldn't finish it. And then so I watched the rest of it. Uh, I don't think it was this morning. Today's Thursday. I think it was Wednesday. And, uh... Oh no. Um, why is that so, why is it acting like that? It's, it's running girl. Okay, there it goes. You have three girls, six and five and two. Girls are fun. Um, I will say she was a lot easier than my son. Um, at every age um, so far when it comes to everything. And I was learning. I, w I was actually that stubborn young adult that wanted to play video games and not be a dad. And I still think raising the girl was easier. And then I grew up. I actually... Um, it started after I started going to church. I got invited to church. And... In that time frame of right before I got invited to church, I uh, I felt I felt led to start seeking, you know, seek, seeking Jesus, and so I ended up getting rid of my video games, um, and I became a dad, and I realized that that was an important thing for me. And goats are evil. Um, a boy and a girl, uh, age eight, and the girl six months. The goats are evil. You know, I will say look, about about the goats. When I first started learning about them, I kept hearing about how they chew up everything and they get on everything and they tear it up and they jump over fences and they won't stay in um is that wind pretty bad because it's on my phone i don't know how well the phones do with the wind it's not very windy it's just a little bit worse than a breeze uh and i forgot what i was talking about what was i talking about riley um that about goats goats so I was scared, but I was persistent, and I wanted goats because they're cute. Everybody wants goats because they're cute. And so I ended up getting a goat. Then I found out through more research that Nigerian dwarfs, which, it's, which, which is what I got, was a fly to your breed and have more issues with them escaping. I will say I have not had one goat jump the fence and it's four foot. Wait, yeah. Is that his heart right there? That is that's the kidney. And then the dark brown is the, and the liver. Yep. Do what? Does that feel weird? Does what feel weird? The meat or the... the meat. It feels just like raw chicken. You want to touch it? <laughs> Here, scoot back. I don't want you in the way right there. I want this knife. Can I make rabbit flautas? Rabbit flautas? I was actually telling them that, that that was my favorite dish with the rabbit meat. It's a little spicy. Really. Yeah, we can have rabbit flautas. Yes. Maybe we can go to Justin's house. Have rabbit flautas. Your kids are 39, 37, and 31. I am 29. Um, do do your kids, uh, Brenda? Do they homestead or do they live any of the weird life like we do?
you what? Killing rabbits smells like fishing. Like fishing? Yeah. You know what though, Riley? What? When I was butchering that rabbit this morning yeah. that got out, mm -hmm. I did, I, I felt the same way. I was like, it smells like the lake. And I think it's probably the, uh, just the organs. Is that warm water cooler? Crooked Woods Family Orchard. Nice to meet you. Glad to have you here. We're just butchering rabbits. I like to do this to, with somebody. I unfortunately don't have anybody here to help me. My nine-year-old joined me. Uh, so I'm using this as my first time to go on a live stream to interact with you guys. And so that's, that's what we're doing. Uh, keeping me company. Keeping you company and just save it and getting this job. Well, <laughs> I did see a, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen that. Uh, it's a billboard and it was a, a PETA billboard uh, for those people that don't like to eat animals. And it had all the animals and it went from like your normal farm animals and then it moved over to like rabbits, more of a pet farm animal. And then it went to like horses and then dogs and cats and stuff. And it said, it said, and it drew the line be, be, like before the rabbit. So it was just a chicken for eat, eating the chicken and pig and the cow. And then it said, the, with the virus going on, it drew the line. It said, anything's open at this moment. I thought it was funny. I saw wow, I, I don't. I honestly think that if, just because of me being in the city, I think if I had goats that jumped, I wouldn't, I just wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, I, I just probably wouldn't do it. I would just, I'd probably be so upset and give up because with me and my life, I'm just so busy. Uh, I wouldn't have the time to, to fight with chasing down all those animals. Those are moving. They are not. Hi, Krista. Those are not moving. That's good. Well, well, it's because I threw it down there and they were sliding around. Krista's on there. Oh, you're you're in. Yeah. Here, go around. Come out here, come over here and say hi to Krista. Hi, Krista. You gotta talk to the... Hi, Krista. Here's the heart. Look at that. This one was extra bloody. I see it's bone. Is this the Susan that is Brittany's old coworker? Not like, <laughs> not old coworker, but like <laughs> the coworker at her old job. Oh, that's funny. I'll go ask her. Hey, I think Susan's on here from Brittany's, gonna your mom's job. Her. That's gonna be funny. I just don't know. If it is, I just didn't know that was your last name. She wants to be a vet. No. It's not? No. Okay. Is the the butt the poop transporter? We'll call it that. It's the the intestines from the inside of the belly. So your food goes in your stomach. You have to eat it. 
Well, it goes through a lot of other stuff, but it goes to your stomach, breaks down. Then all the stuff that your body wants to get rid of goes through the intestines and it meets your toilet. This is spine. Is what the spine? Yeah. You wanna do you wanna dispatch the next one? Okay. That's when you kill it, pretty much. Like step on it? Well you step on the broom, well the the pole, and then you pull his legs and it breaks his neck off. <laughs> so, uh, garden. Let's talk about gardens. Uh, what do you guys have going on right now? You have anything sprouting? I got, I got potatoes. I've already put my first layer added onto it. I've got some carrots that are, the greens are about this, about an inch or two. Uh, onions, I bought the little bitty bulbs. So obviously they have a little green that's about three inches. I have an asparagus that's already sprouting. I got three shoots of that. And my, my plum tree just got done flowering. Watch. So this is what you do. Put it right there on his neck. Step on it. Grab his ankles. Step on the other side and pull. Dad, I don't want to do that. And, it, and it's gone. You don't want to do that? No. And it's gone. It's dead. Ooh, I have... I have the plans to the greenhouse that Justin Rhodes has. That's the only person. Other than, I just met him. I just met him. I don't know his name off the top of my head. I met him off the Facebook page. And he has it. And I said, oh my goodness, I really like that. And he he sent me the plans. And so I'm going to build it. He said he, he got it done for about 500 bucks in materials. And so I'm going to save up. I say... I'm going to start building it by the end of this summer because i got to get some fencing going for the goats. Lettuce, broccoli, peas, strawberries, transition to blueberries. Blueberry, blueberry is my favorite fruit. Uh, I've tried it twice growing it here. Didn't work. So I got aluminum sulfate, which actually is how I'm going to preserve these hives to help acidify the soil we're supposed to have a little cold snap tonight too this is one of the rabbits that got out today yeah because all the rabbits got out but one and every one of the I've got one rabbit that's still running loose First time gardening outside of zucchini, tomatoes, and you got the lettuce, broccoli, pea. peas. I would say out of that whole list is going to be your next easiest. Broccoli, I have not had any success with, but I have always planted it too late, and that's why. Lettuce, I have done lettuce, and I love it. favorite lettuce is romaine. It's hard to pick it up now. It's heavy. It is heavy. Dang. Oh, we gotta squeeze the, pee. squeeze the pee out of there. Try to squeeze it out. Here in Kansas, my allergies are crazy. But the lady next door mowed.
maybe that's one good thing about having goats and doing the uh, uh, rotational grazing is you don't have the stuff get thrown in the air. Daddy, why are you leaving the hard cylinders in there and not the intestines? Because that is the better stuff for fishing. We never it's easy. go fishing. Well, I want to go fishing. That's my goal. And if I don't go fishing, we can give it to Thomas. He goes fishing a lot. Or I'm Grandpa. Touch me and Grandpa have me. He. It's the same thing as chicken liver. Can and, you feed your chicken liver? Yeah. I think Thomas is in here too. I think he's watching. He said he was going to. Um. She has oh she has wanted to become a vet for a while now. Or a doctor. Or a doctor. She's very smart with math and science. She doesn't like math though. And that's what I I was I was good with those. But I was more of the engineer style. Um so these breeder rabbits are, I would call them mutts or barnyard mix. Hey. So I got a mix of Flemish and California and New Zealand in here. And then I got the one that was uh, speckled looking, polka dotted. And the, the, the actual term for it hey, is broken. And that was Rex and New Zealand. <laughs> Living off grid, uh, McGarvey style. Do you raise rabbits? You can read the comments out loud if you want to, rabbit, so I can not have to look over there. Those are some good rabbits. Some nice, big old meaty rabbits. Um, where in? How do you say that? Og Ogden? Ogden? Unless it's a typo. Ooh, I done ripped it a little further than I needed to. Awesome. Is this your first time doing rabbits? Ogden. Rabbits are pretty fun, pretty easy.
They definitely produce a lot of meat for how fast the gestation period is with the amount of litter or with the amount of uh, kids per litter. Poked myself. I've never been in Utah. I usually go east. We go to Tennessee every year. And then we also go to Colorado. We like we love to hike in the mountains. And we're gonna try to It's so pretty. see Krista. Yeah, we are in July. If they don't shut everything down and all that stuff, if this stuff slows down. Well, well we're not going to be going here. Getting gas. And, um, Starting to get a little cold out here. It's not that bad, but to compare compared to what it's been yes I've got the livers the hearts and the kidneys here actually in a bucket or a bowl I keep saying bucket Will you split it completely open open it up a little bit so you can see what's inside you want to open it see what it looks like okay let's see if we get it in light That, that right there is the the uh P-sec. yeah the PSEC uh the bladder. So if you pop it, a bunch of pee will come out. Yes, it's like a it's like a water balloon, but not water. Well, kind of water, but and then you got the you can see the kidney right there, that little ball. The heart is gonna be up here. And that right there is his uh, boy stuff. And you see the other kidney right there and a little bit of his liver. <coughs> I have a great pair of knees. Uh, after I'm done with this, I'll rinse my hands off. If he comes close, I'll uh, let you see him. I have a video when I got him where tried to make the video look like I got attacked and he's attacking me with love. Let me go wash that off. Oh I'm not gonna I'm not gonna move the camera yet. Yeah, I would say uh, a Great Pyrenees is going to be my favorite dog. Uh, if I get any other kind of dog, it would be an Anatolian Shepherd in the future. Uh, but definitely something that's a guardian, that's going to protect livestock and be able to fight up against coyotes. We don't have coyotes in this area, but that doesn't mean that we've never ever seen one. They're just not normal in this area. We've seen fox, I have at least, but it was, I've been here 29 years, seen one once. I don't know if my dog would eat this, because I had a chicken that 
got attacked by a rooster and, died. and it died and I was getting ready for church it had died I didn't have any Ziploc baggies to put the what meat in that? what is that that is the stomach oh. if you cut that open it's got all the grass that he ate cut it open no I want to see what it looks like no Why? not right now we'll do it on the last one because I don't want to get my hands all gross. But look how that. That's clear. Look how that it's got like all those. The man of war the, oh, the jellyfish? Just, just, just don't touch this. I've never had a chicken heart either. A chicken? You can eat those? Yeah, you can eat those. Livers, gizzards, hearts. I know you can eat chickens. You don't have you had a gizzard? No, I'm never going to. You gotta try at least one. I'm not trying to dang it. Nope. Oh. Hey, be careful. I don't want you knocking that. Hey, I don't want you knocking that camera off. Because it's got the charger for my phone. My hands are cold. You have coyotes. You lost a goat. And then we got a Great Pyrenees. We don't see coyotes. I have not had a single raccoon dig. I every day would go outside and have issues with a raccoon trying to dig around my chicken coop. Uh, I've had him almost a year now and I have not had a single encounter with a raccoon on my yard. But I will say he does bark a lot. Good night, Crooked Woods Family Orchard. It was nice talking with you, hanging out. I'm glad you came. Sheep. I, I kind of... Uh, I'm interested in sheep. Uh, I don't think I would raise sheep here. I'm not, oh, I am done. I am ready. This is probably my smaller rabbit. They're all the same age. See you later, Ugly Homestead. It was fun having you. Uh, hope to see you a lot more in the future. Um, I've did, I got this one and one more. See you later. And I just I just had baby rabbits born uh, Saturday, and I've got about fifteen of them. Probably, I think I had I had a couple that were dead uh, yesterday that I pulled out. Hey, Dad, come get me on the right. Rabbit is getting skinned. The last one? Yeah. It's cool. Okay? Okay, I'll come get you. Oh, you can see the Pyrenees. His name is Jake, my little dog. Well, my big dog. so fun. So you have the living off grid McGarvey. Uh, you have the one male and one female. Uh, do you plan on 
expanding that and doing another doe uh, for breeding. Good night, Susan. It was nice talking with you, hanging out. Taking the dirt off. It's getting sandy here with me standing here. Hey, hey. Playing with a rabbit back there. Ghost, ghost is your dog's name. My dog uh, lives out here, and he he's always on guard. He used to live with the goats until he started hopping the fence. breeders over there running around a lot. I'm actually going to put my nest boxes in there tomorrow. I've got four, four of them that are getting ready to have babies and uh, one of them I didn't see the fall off but I left it in there. See you later McGarvey style. It was nice having you. Fun hanging out. Have a good night. If you haven't hit that uh, thumbs up button, go ahead and do that for me. That'd be awesome. Does anybody have any other questions they want to ask me about my, my family or my animals? Or It's kind of my first time doing it, so... I wouldn't say that it's awkward for me, but it's definitely my first rodeo. I'm going to have to go look at McGarvey's channel, see if he's got anything. Uh, I know I've seen it. That name somewhere. Watch a few of your stuff. But I've been, I've been really, uh, if you've noticed, I don't know if any of you guys are, have been here a while, uh, on my channel is what I'm meaning, but I've been trying to be more active and <clears throat> chase my goals of having fun and sharing my experience with my farm and family on my YouTube, growing it, getting to meet more people, maybe see some new stuff that I've never seen, get a little more crazy, because you know how this homesteading life is weird and crazy. And life's, or, uh, normal's boring, so... <laughs> Unfortunately, had a friend that got attacked by a pit bull uh, as a 
baby. And so in my family's circle of friends growing up, it was very uh, pushed to not touch anybody's dogs. And so like when I go to Walmart now, because it's normal to have service dogs, my daughter, she's like, oh, please, please, please. And I'm like doing that awkward, you know, like pulling her this way. We gotta go this direction. What's up, Riley? You cold? This one? Yes, I'm almost done. It's supposed to get colder tonight. Hopefully the uh, stuff doesn't, the, the garden don't freeze. Daddy, uh, save the food where it has the food in it. And then get it and where are you going to be at? Because I'm not going to go in the house and yell for you. Mom's room. Okay, that'll be fine. You'll be able to hear me. Just, hey. Use her phone and watch this, and uh, you'll be able to tell. It's always fun being uh, crazy. with the audio a lot I mean I, I wouldn't say anything at that time but if it keeps doing that I, don't, I sure don't want to annoy you guys with that yeah it was so big of a gust that it shook the tripod it's a uh, one of those little ones that and it like it bends so you can like put it like this so if you like want to sit on a couch you can like put it however you like it and watch your TV or whatever and it's my wife's she don't know I have it I want to touch it with my nasty hands I think I done hit the cage and like took the cage with it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hello, everybody. Had a few more just join in. All right, last one. Save the wild one for last, it looks like.
like to rig stuff. It's how I get by. That'll probably keep it more stable. From wobbling so hard, it'll probably wobble a little bit. killing it it it's <laughs> it's waving a lot on the screen I keep playing with these I'm very fidgety I like to I was that kid in school that always did something weird oh you know those little pencil erasers uh, you get them in a big pack and then Those little pencil erasers that uh, they're like pyramid shaped on top. They're kind of like cone heads is what they remind me of. I would like put them on our side and I would drive them around with little cars in fifth grade. I remember it. And I put my books on on the on the desk like they're buildings and I would like drive them around it and they were like little cars with cannons. That's That was me. I was that goofy little kid. Hello Riley. Good night, overworked gardener. It was fun having you. It was nice uh, hanging out, getting to know you on my first interactive live stream. Alexander is my wife's sister who is going to film that goofy video that I was kind of giving you a little hint about. that bugged any of you guys I do it at work and uh, the employee goes stop that it like grosses her out <laughs>
my fingers were all knotted up feeling. No, it was, uh, it's somebody from, uh, 47th. The manager, uh, So I plan on doing, I, to me, this live stream turned out to be really fun to me. Uh, it's slow enough for my channel at this moment to be able to read all the comments. I've had a lot of fun with it. Uh, I do have some roosters to butcher, so maybe I could do another live stream here in the near future. I'd say to me in near future is within the next two weeks to three weeks or so. Maybe we can do something like that. This is kind of fun. <clears throat> I'm a little cold. Uh, nose is getting a little runny. Yeah, there are some fast chats and it just is, it blows my mind. It just blows my mind. Even like, I saw some channels that put it on slow chat where it's like, you gotta wait like a minute or two and it still is going crazy. Uh, Weedleman Reap, they had the baby goats on their live stream, but of course they've got like, I think like three, four hundred thousand subscribers. And it is just like ridiculous. I don't even get it. Like, I would almost want to turn my comments off because my phone, you know, blowing up and having to keep up with that. Because I, that's, that's what I like to do. I try to keep up with every comment except for that, what's that guy's name? Todd or Tim or Tom? That's that, that new bot. Oh, I got, I got a jacket. It's right here. That's Riley, not me. <laughs> you want a bite? Give some to Jake. Uh, I don't think Jake can eat that stuff. My dad but, looks. But Riley wants to dissect the stomach. Look at the veins. Like, oh my god, Courtney. What? Your pile of corks. <laughs> Thank you, Riley. <laughs> Riley, uh, it's probably time to think about doing the, uh, here you are. Turn the volume down and come out here. Turn it like all the way off volume. Are you about to? Well, I am done uh, getting the, cut the, guts. the guts out of here. I'm going to cut the guts after I'm done touching all the meat. I know with chickens, if you cut something, it's not good. Yeah, Is that the guile, or I don't know. I don't know all the fancy terms. Sorry, I borrowed the jacket. All right. <laughs> Off the top of your head, guys, uh, who are watching, that know like what can a dog not eat when it comes to guts? Mm -hmm. 
This is the last one. Oh, I got hit. I got kicked in the head. Wait, the nerve's still going? You don't want it. You don't want the kidney. It's fish and bait. Just, it looks like the stuff that you pull out of the lawnmower. that throws the grass on a lawnmower. That, that wet, dark green. It looks like a can of spinach. She done caught me with the little tripod thing. That's why I'm laying in bed watching movies. Yeah, that's, <laughs> what I, I, that's what I told him. And if you were watching me, if you screamed at all, you would have noticed. Mm -hmm. How but many people actually watching it? Uh, yeah, right now I've got five people. The most I had in here was seven. I've, <laughs> I've been in here at a consistent six to seven people. <laughs> she does. I'm in trouble. It's all right. I... I don't think I'm in trouble. You have a nice life. I'm not in any more trouble than I normally am, I'll say that. <laughs> so, this is going to conclude tonight. Uh, so, I'm going to get inside. I would say from the beginning of this video to the end, it's been <coughs> about hundred minutes you got two more minutes till 100 and I would say I'll say it's it's dropped maybe 10 degrees I got this Apple watch and I don't know how to use it 
see if there's weather on her. All right, Jake, they're gone. What do you want to do? You want to party or something? 51 degrees. It does not feel like 51. It feels like 45 or 41. My hands are freezing. My fingers are. I wouldn't say my hands. Let's see what happens. It's supposed to be a low of 35 at 7 in the morning. It is 10.55 here. 42. Wow. My low is supposed to be 35. So, I'm going to end the video here. It was very fun hanging out with you guys. I'm thankful that you guys stuck around. I'm actually surprised. I was thinking I was going to have one or two people in here the whole night. Uh... And, I, and I've had a, a consistent five or six. At most, I had seven that I saw. If there was more, then... Uh, but I'm just, I'm just so thankful that so many people probably checked it out, came in, tried. Give me the time in their day to get to meet you guys a little bit more, let you get to meet me. I'm looking forward to doing this more in the future. <laughs> and... We'll go ahead and say good night, and it was fun. It was nice talking with you, Brenda. And good, and good night again. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to bear with me as I try to end this.